From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. So I've said it a few times now, 61 in Boise for a high today, but it wasn't 61 all across the board. Check out Ontario at 47 degrees. If you're in the west end of the valley, you may be looking at the upper Treasure Valley thinking, what happened? Well, sometimes uh, because cold air is so dense, it tends to really want to hang on to those lower elevations. And so Ontario, lower elevation than where Boise is, it could have just had some cold air that didn't want to scour out there, plus a little less sunshine for the lower end of the valley today. 47 was also the high up in McCall 37 in Jerome mid 40s for Twin Falls. We won't be there for the rest of the week. In fact, it's a transition day tomorrow where we start that slide back down closer to normal for this time of year should be in the mid 30s. We were 25 degrees above that today, but still a few degrees shy of the record high for this day. Holiday travel if you're heading over the river and through the woods uh, relatively quiet through tomorrow, but then we start to see those snow showers and we'll take a closer look at all of this activity that comes in out of the south as we move into the overnight hours tomorrow night into Christmas Day Eve. So this is Tuesday morning, slow and slick commute if you have one. Quiet across the eastern half of the country, and then as we near the Christmas holiday and beyond, it looks like the most inclement weather will be up through the Midwest and also down through the southwest, so a little wet down through Disneyland if that's part of your plan. Southern California looking like we'll need the rain gear if you're headed in that direction. Back to the here and now. It's it's dry here in southern Idaho and still 60 degrees in Boise. The wind has been mighty throughout the day as well, gusting about 35 miles per hour, generally speaking, but sustained winds have also been very persistent coming in out of the south southeast anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. That breeze will calm overnight tonight and tomorrow, much less wind in the forecast. You see the cloud cover that's sneaking back in for us out of the west, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies overnight tonight. And I do think dry is the rule. The exception to the rule is perhaps maybe a quick spot shower or spot sprinkle more likely for the higher elevations. Uh, it, I don't think it's really that likely, but I have a 10% chance in the forecast for the next 24 hours. 41 to 46 for our highs tomorrow afternoon, still above average, but not nearly as warm as today. Future cast showing us the mostly cloudy skies. We wake up to partly cloudy, mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. This is why I mentioned that 10% chance of a quick shower or sprinkle as we move through the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning and then as we near the day's end tomorrow, overnight Monday into early Tuesday morning, that's when those scattered snow showers develop for us. And I think it'll be a similar scenario to what we saw last Thursday, where our ground temp temperature, our surface temperature is just a bit above the freezing mark. And so it's hard for that snow to accumulate, but we've got some big fat festive flakes that are coming down and then eventually mixing to more of a wet snowflake. I think that'll keep our accumulations for the valley locations less than an inch. So it's not looking likely that we get that white Christmas for the valley locations, but a couple of fresh inches up in our mountains. Not all that bad if you're planning on heading skiing for the Christmas holiday, and we also break out a little more sunshine come Wednesday as well. Here's your seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. The snow showers on Tuesday, mainly during the morning hours, changing over to rain and likely melting off. You know that official definition of a white Christmas is at least one inch of snow on the ground, by 7 a.m. come Christmas morning. I've seen Christmas miracles happen, but it would really take a Christmas miracle to keep that little bit of snow from Tuesday on the ground into Wednesday morning.